Hello children, today we will be starting the second chapter of SST, Sources of History. In the previous chapter, we had learnt what is history. So now, we all know that the study of past events and life of the people in the past is called history. The information about the past comes from different objects left behind by the people of those times. So children, the information that we get about the past, we get it through the objects that the people had used in the earlier times and have left those. Things such as coins, tools, artifacts, monuments, paintings and written records give us clues about the past. These are called the sources of history. So children, there are things such as coins, tool, artifacts. Now what are artifacts? They are the remains of human made objects from the past and monuments, paintings and even the written records that the people of the earlier times used these are all known as the sources of history now the sources of history can be divided into two they are the archaeological sources and the literary sources Archaeological sources. Archaeological sources of history may include remains of tangible materials from the past in forms of artifacts, coins and monuments. So children, what are archaeological sources? Yes, these are the sources of history which are the remains of tangible material. Tangible means the things that we can touch and see from the past. Okay, these are in the forms of artifacts, coins as well as monuments. Artifacts, remains of different items such as tools, utensils, clothes, jewelry, and weapons from the past are known as artifacts. So again I repeat, what are artifacts? Yes, they are the tools, the utensils, the clothes, the jewelry and the weapons that the people used in the past time. These, all these things are called artifacts. These items are found at different sites. They are carefully collected and studied to understand the lifestyle of the people in the past. So children, all these artifacts, they are found at different sites. What are sites? Areas or places where buildings, towns or monuments stood in the past means the places where buildings, towns and monuments are. Okay, and they were collected carefully and they were studied upon. Why, why they were studied upon? Because they wanted to know about the lifestyle of the people who lived in the past. These artifacts give us clues about the kind of food people ate, the kind of work they did and the kind of clothes worn by them. So through these artifacts they told us about what kind of food the people ate and what was the kind of work they did as well as what kind of clothes did they wear in the previous times. Coins Coins have different kinds of information marked on them. For example, the year in which they were issued. Therefore, coins from the past 
give us important clues about the ancient times. So, the coins. Have you all seen different kinds of coins? Yes, you might come across. You can ask your elders, your family members, your parents if they have any old coins to show you all. Yes, because through these coins, they give us important clues, important information and even about the year in which they were issued. Some coins have images of kings and gods portrayed on them, while some coins contain relig religious symbols and legends. So children, in this slide, there, is, there are uh, pictures of coins. Okay, so you can see what is there? there. There are images of kings and even gods. Okay, and there can even be symbols and legends on the coins that were used in the previous times. Such coins tell us about the kings who issued the coins and their rule. They also throw light on the art, religion and language in use during earlier times. So children, the coins which were used during the rule of these kings, they tell us when they were issued and under which ruler they were issued. And they also tell us about what kind of art was used during that time, what kind of religion they followed as well as the language used during the earlier times. Monuments. Monuments include buildings such as forts, palaces, tombs, statues, sculptures and places of worship. So, children, many of you all during your holidays, you all must have gone to monuments. Your parents must have taken you to see different buildings, different tombs, forts, statues, palaces. Yes, these are all called monuments. Okay, even the, uh, the temples where we go to worship, those are even all called monuments. Monuments tell us about the period in which they were built, the reason for building them and the people who built it. Children, during your holidays, you must have been to different places. Your parents must have taken you to show you different buildings, forts, tombs, statues and all. Okay, so when we go to these places, we get a lot of information from these monuments. Yes, you will definitely come to know when, was the, when were they built, why were they built and who built it and everything. So everything is mentioned when you go to these monuments, you can see and you can find a lot of information given about these monuments. Some important monuments in India are Red Fort, Agra Fort, Hawa Mahal, Qutub Minar and Jama Majid. So these monuments, many of you all must have been to the Red Fort. Where is the Red Fort? Yes, it's in Delhi. And where is the Agra Fort? Yes, it's in Agra. What about the Hawa Mahal? It's in Jaipur. Qutub Minar? again in Delhi as well as the Jama Majid is also located in Delhi. So with this children we cover up the archaeological sources, sources of history till artifacts, coins and monuments. The next session we will start with archaeologists, literary sources as well as the need to preserve sources of history. Okay, so we have done half the chapter only children just now. My next presentation will be the concluding part and there are some exercises given to you all. A worksheet is being given to you all over here. So kindly complete it and send me all the answers on my personal number that is 81453 After the work is shared with you all. Okay, 
Thank you. Have a nice day and stay safe. Hello children. Today we will be starting the second chapter of SST, Sources of History. In the previous chapter, we had learnt what is history. So now, we all know that the study of past events and life of the people in the past is called history. The information about the past comes